Hey, what's up? Algebra 1-7-A. Okay. I'm going to go over three examples. This just has one problem that you have to do. Um, now it's relating some quadratic equations to some more like applications in real life scenarios. Now it says example one. I'm going to do one example per page because you're going to need quite a bit of room. You have a 10 by 9 foot garden. If you add a uniform walkway around the garden, uniform means it's the same on every side, then the area is 306 square feet. Find the width of the walkway. Okay, here's what you're going to do. Up here, you're going to make a rectangle, and it's 10 by 9. Just label it like that. You're going to build this walkway around the garden. Okay, there's your picture. Now we're talking area, and all these are rectangles. So the area is length times width equals area. But we know that the area in this problem is 306 square feet, so 306. Now we need to put some expressions for the length and the width. Okay. So your length is this bottom piece, so make, make kind of a dashed line that goes through the bottom and mark where the middle piece begins and ends. Okay, so this part's 10 here. Now the sides are X's because we don't know. So how many X's is that? 1X, 1X, so it would be 2X plus 10. So that's your width. Or that's your length, sorry. Okay, now the width is this piece here. And from here to here is 9 units. And then x and x, so that's 2x plus 9. Now you need to multiply this out, okay? I'm going to make kind of a box off the side. I need to do the distributed property. So I take 2x times 2x. And then I go back to the 2x and take 2x times 9. Now, the 2x there is done, and then I do the same thing with the 10. Okay, So I go 10, 10, times the same two things, 2x and 9. So figure out what those are. So 2 times 2 is 4, and then x times x is x to the second power. 2 times 9 is 18, and that would be 18 with x. 10 times 2 is 20 with x, and 10 times 9 is 90. Now we want to add those two in the middle because those are like terms. Okay. So we have 4x to the second power. And when you're going to need to add these two, they go together. 18 plus 20 is 38, and then 90. Now don't forget that your e it equals 306, so don't forget that. Okay. Now, forget that this is a story problem and solve the equation. It's a quadratic equation. There would be two answers we have to figure out. So this is an A, this is a B, and I got two C's. So I need to get the, everything to this side, so I need to get the 306 to 0 by subtracting. Now that was a C, so we can subtract it from 90. So I got 4x to the second, there's my A, plus 38x, there's my B. 90 minus 306 is negative 216, there's your C, and you have 0. Now with ABC, we want to first apply the discriminant. So I'm going to go to the calculator on the phone. Okay. So okay, the discriminant is that part of the quadratic formula with just the square root. So we need two parentheses: b to the second minus four a c. So b we know is 38. 4a is 4, c is negative 216. Okay, so I hit the square root function. You need, remember, you always need two parentheses to start. One comes up on its own, and you're going to put 38 to the second minus. So 38 to the second, you hit this key, 2, minus, and then there's always a 4. 
and then the A is 4, and the C is negative 216. Remember, it's negative 216. Okay, I got a whole number, so that means I need to try to factor it. So, put equals 70. It's not a decimal, so this will factor. So I make the GCF, and then my table. Now the GCF, um, you're not going to net, the multiplication chart is not big enough to just look at. So it's what you're going to do. You're going to take your smallest number, 4, and just go up here and list the factors of 4. Well, you got 4 divided by 1 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2, so 2 and two, and then you're done. That's all the factors of four that you have. You can get rid of one of the twos. So see, if, take a calculator and see if these will all divide by four, okay? Four divides by four, does 38 divide by four? No, so it can't be four, okay? Now try two. Four divides by two, take 38 divided by two, 216 divided by 2. Now, I, I didn't get any decimals, okay? So when I don't get any decimals, I know that 2 is the greatest common factor. So I factor out 2. So then I get 2x to the second. There's my new a. Plus 19x, that's my b. And that divides minus 108. There's my c, okay? Now I take my A times my C, 2 times negative 108. It's negative 216. So it's a positive times a negative. We're trying to add to get to positive 19. Now this will work, we just got to be patient. So 216 divided by 1 is 216. Nope. That doesn't add to 19, so I cross it out. Okay, now divide 216 by 2. Okay, I got 108, so positive, negative, and 2, 108. Now that's not going to add to 19, though. Okay, 216 divided by 3 is 72. That's not going to add to positive 19. That's not even close. Four and fifth positive four, negative fifty four. If we add those, that is not even close. Okay. Two sixteen divided by five decimals, so don't skip it. Two sixteen divided by six is thirty six. So put positive six, negative thirty six. That adds to negative thirty. Okay. Okay, divided by, oh, I forgot seven. Seven's a decimal, so don't do it. Divide by eight, 27. So positive eight, negative 27. Let's add those. Okay, I got negative 19, so circle it, but you need positive 19, so you go plus 27 minus eight. Now the A is two, so since your A is a two, you can't just get rid of it. You need to generate four parentheses and you start with two. So two, two, X, X, minus eight plus 27. Now this, these are both in the row of two, so you divide by two, that becomes one X minus four. And there's your F1, okay? Put equals zero down there. 2 and 27, you can't really, there's no, they don't appear in a row together. They're in the first row, so that stays the same thing. Okay. Now, there was a GCF of 2. Technically, you're supposed to drop that down there, but it doesn't, it, we don't care about it. If you don't do it, it's all right. Okay. So 1x minus 4 could equal 0. 2x plus 27 equals 0. So I add 4. 1x equals 4, that would just be 4, minus 27, that's negative 27, 
and you can just leave that negative 27 over 2. Now the positive ain't one's your real answer, so 4. Now if you're wondering about the label, it says feet, so it's 4 feet. So these X's up there are 4. Okay. Kind of a lot of problems, but I'm going to find one. Okay. Do example 2. A rectangular trivet has an 8 by 6 inch center and a wooden border. If the area is 120 square inches, how wide is the border? Okay, so here's the picture. We got it as 8 by 6. Building that border around the outside. Now, this is a we need to write a expression for the area. So length times width equals area. So I make a parenthesis for my length times a parenthesis for my width, and my area I know is 120. Okay. So the length again is the same thing. The middle piece is eight, but we got the x's on the outsides. So it's two x plus eight. So you got 6, x, and x, so that's 2x plus 6. Now I need to multiply this 2 by 2. And one thing I didn't explain this year when we were in class, so this is known as the FOIL method. It, first, outer, inner, last. First, outer, inner, last. Okay. So first I take 2x times 2x. And then I go back to the 2x and I take 2x times 6. Then I take 8 times 2x, and I take 8 times 6. Okay, it's going to be the same thing that happened on the last problem. You're going to have 4 with x to the second, 12 with x, 16 with x, and 48. Remember, you combine the two in the middle because they both have x's. So we have 4x to the second, and we add those two, that that's 28x plus 48 equals 120. Okay, now you have a quadratic equation. It's no longer a story problem. Okay. A, B, these are both C's, so you got to move the 120. Okay, so I got 4x to the second, there's my A. I got 28x, there's my B, and then I take 48 minus 120, and that's negative 72, that's my C. Okay, so ABC, first apply the discriminant. The discriminant's useful because if you get a decimal, that means the T chart won't work and you can use the quadratic formula song. Okay, but you never know. So B, we know B is 28 to the second minus 4, so 28. Remember, you got to get that second parenthesis there x to the y to the second, and then we sub always subtract a, par a parenthesis of 4, and then a and c, so a is 4, c is negative 72. Okay, so I got 44, that means t chart's going to work. Okay, so I set up the GCF in the table. Okay, GCF, you got 4, 28, and 72. So again, on these, you know you're always going to have a 4, so just list the factors of 4. It's always 1, 4, and 2. Then try to divide them all by 4 first, because 4 is your greatest. So I know 4 divided by 4 is 1. 28 divided by 4 is 7. 72 divided by 4 is 18. So I got I didn't get any decimals, so I can use 4 as the GCF. Don't put an X with it though, because you have that C. So I factor out a 4. And then I go divide by 4, and that gives me a new A, B, and C. So 1x to the second plus 7x minus 18. So A, B, C. Now I factor the trinomial. So 1 times negative 18 is negative 18, so it's a positive times a negative. We're trying to add to get to positive 7. So if I divide 18 by 1, I get 18, but that doesn't work. 18 divided by 2 is 9. That's negative 7, so I have the right numbers. I just need to flip the signs so it can be positive 7. 
Now, unlike the last problem, the A is 1, okay? See that? Your A is 1, so you can get rid of your 1, and that means you can just make two parentheses, okay? XX X minus 2 plus 9. Now, again, technically that 4 comes down here, but since it doesn't have an X with it, it's really not important when you solve it. So F1, F2. So x minus 2 could equal 0, or x plus 9 could equal 0. So we just need to add 2. Takes me to 2. Minus 9 gives me negative 9. So 2 is the answer to the problem because it's the positive, and the dimensions were inches. So it would be 2 inches. That's your answer. Okay, last example, example three. A rectangle pool has dimensions of 40 by 20 feet. A uniform border is added around the walkway, creating an area of 1,125 square feet. Find the width of the border. Thankfully, this is an example and not a problem you have to do. Okay. So, we have 40 by 20, building the border on the outside. And length times width is equal to area so parentheses for the length parentheses for the width and the area we know is 1125 okay so my length we got 40 and then x x so it'd be 2x plus 40 and then the width is going to be 2x plus 20 now you need to multiply that equation out using the FOIL method for products so I take 2x times 2x, 2x times 20, then 40 times this 40, 40 times 2x times 20. So that's 4x to the second, 40x, 80x, those go together because they both have, they're both B terms, equals 800. Okay. So we have 4x to the power of 2, combine your x's, that would be 120x, plus 800 equals 1125. So that's A, that's B, and then you got two C's. So again, when you have two C's, A, B, and C, you have to move everything to one side. So I got 4x to the second, that's A plus 120x, that's B, 800 minus 1125 minus 325 equals 0. Now, now you apply your discriminant. Okay, so B I know is 120, and then 4, A is 4, C is negative 325. So, I take the square root, 120, close it, to the second power, then I subtract 4, 4, and negative 325. Okay, again, you got one. You didn't get a decimal, so that means it will factor. So I go GCF and table. I'm going to make a big table because this takes forever. That's why it's good. You don't have to do it on your own. Okay, four. So one, four, and two. Because four is your smallest, so you list that. Well, 4 divides by 4, 120 divides by 4, I didn't get a decimal, 325 by 4, got a decimal, so like 4 is not the GCF. Now, it also can't be 2, because that's an odd number there, the C is. So that leaves us with just 1, which means we don't got to do it. Okay, But the problem with that is, now I'm going to get a very big number on the T table. So 1,300 negative, so it's a positive times a negative. We're adding to try to get to positive 120. 1 in 1,300 is not even close. You divide by 2, 650, that doesn't work. 
decimal, don't put it. Okay, 4, positive 4, negative 3, 25, that's not going to be 120. Okay. It's 5, don't work, positive 5, negative 260. Divided by 6, decimal. Divided by 7, decimal. Divided by 8, decimal. Divided by 9, decimal. Okay, 10 and 130. Positive 10, negative 130. Okay, that works. Okay. So that's it, but we need it as positive 120, so we need positive negative. Now your A, now remember we didn't do anything here, so you got to go back to your 4 with your A, and you need to generate 4 parentheses. So 4, 4, x minus 10, x plus 130. Now 4 and 10, those are both in the row of 2, so you divide by 2, and that's 2x minus 5. Four and two. See if you can divide 130 by 4. Nope. Well, they're both even, so you can divide them by 2. So it's 2x plus 65. Equals 0. There wasn't a GCF, so I'm not putting that number. It doesn't really matter if you do, but F1, F2. So 2x minus 5 equals 0. 2x plus 65 equals 0. So add your 5. Divide by 2, just leave that as 5 over 2. That's also 2, two and a half is what that is. So 2x equals negative 65, then divide by 2, and that's going to be a decimal, so negative 65 over 2. So 5 over 2, and you would label that feet. Or you could write it as 2.5 feet. Either one of those is okay.